we know very little about our oceans. Some say that 95% of the ocean hasn't even been explored yet. It's anyone's guess what could be under the water. Welcome to Paralopedia, your source for what is, isn't, and might be true about paranormal phenomena. This is your place to balance science with faith where we live in the gray wasteland between closed-minded skeptics and mindless believers. I'm Jason, and today we're talking about what is known as a U-28 creature. In 1915, during World War I, a British cargo ship, the SS Iberian, was patrolling up the coast of Ireland when it was attacked by a German U-28 submarine in the Atlantic Ocean. The SS Iberian was traveling from Manchester in the United Kingdom to Boston in the United States with general cargo. The U-28 managed to get a couple of hits in and the British cargo ship sank. The Germans sunk many ships during the First World War, but this encounter was far different from most. The captain of the U-boat described the encounter in the following passage taken from his logbook. On July 30th, 1915, our U-28 torpedoed the British steamer Iberian, which was carrying a rich cargo across the North Atlantic. The steamer sank so swiftly that its bow stuck up almost vertically into the air. Moments later, the whole of the Iberian disappeared. The wreckage remained beneath the water for approximately 25 seconds, at a depth that was clearly impossible to assess. When suddenly, there was a violent explosion, which shot pieces of debris, among them a gigantic aquatic animal, out of the water to a height of approximately 80 feet. At that moment, I had with me in the tower six of my officers of the watch, including the chief engineer, the navigator, and the helmsman. Simultaneously, we all drew one another's attention to this wonder of the seas, which was struggling among the debris. We were unable to identify the creature, but all of us agreed that it resembled an aquatic crocodile, which was about 60 feet long, with four limbs resembling large webbed feet, a long, pointed tail, and a head which also tapered to a point. Unfortunately, we were not able to take a photograph. The animal sank out of sight after 10 or 15 seconds. Many that have heard this story believe the captain and his crew might have witnessed an ancient species of crocodile. With so little of our oceans explored, there's little doubt that there are many things that are living under the water that would shock us. So what do you think? Do you think there are still giant creatures living in our oceans today? Let me know. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you'd be awesome if you'd hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Every time someone subscribes and hits the bell, the Loch Ness Monster gets a little more confidence. Until next time, remember there's no reason to be normal when you can be paranormal. Take care.